So straight on to lesson four then. This is making coincidence and reading the scale. So in this, because we've got three instruments with us and three, uh, three of you trainees, students, uh, Riley, pick up your ground sheet, move it around here and set up this rangefinder for you. I'll act as reader for all three of you. Right, so Riley, hopefully you're set up and you can do exactly the same. You can see that white post? Yes, sir, I did. Good, you can remember how to set it. Now, so what we're gonna do now is, can you remember those diagrams that I did on the blackboard of making coincidence? So what does the white post, what is the white post? The object, it's a nice straight line for you to focus on. So what we're gonna do, what, what's gonna match the top and the bottom windows? That straight line's gonna be in line, isn't it? In line and upside down in the top window, good. Excellent. So what you need to do is just use that working head there for you in a very slow and steady manner. So you're gonna come and you're gonna try and line up on that white post. Can you see that, Brown, the white post, or am I stood in your way? Yeah, I can see it. Good. So you're going to use and line up on that white post. If you go past it, you need to stop, take that reading, and start again from the other side to go the other way. This is how you make um, coincidence. You do it from, one, from both sides. Because, of course, you... When you go past it, you, you're winding the wheel. Um, you're gonna uh, you know, get on there. So, so get onto that white post from your uh, from the ba from the minimum amount. Are you there? Do remember, do not wind that wheel the other way. Only wind it one way. Okay. Everybody there. Okay, so we need to adjust halving in a bit, but that's fine. Next lesson. So. Okay. Are you on zero there for your? Yeah. Good. Right, let me come along and read off then. So let me have a look and you will find out what you have. Get on that white post. Let me shut you down. You on that white post? Find it. Just a tin out there. You have 270, uh, 272 yards. First range. Well done, Brown. Write it down. 300, bang on. Write it down. You there yet, Riley? These instruments should have all been set up for halving, so they're not. I'll deal with those in, before the next lesson. Negative. You can't find it. It won't line up. It won't line up so. Go back to zero, yeah, range. and then one way only. Yeah. Try the other way. Already at zero. Let's have a look. Let's put this ring to one side then. I think someone's dropped it. <laughs> it worked last week. Only you guys have touched them. Right, so let's focus on Brown and, uh, and Fisher then first. So, now, go past it. Go to about a, th a thousand yards. You know it's not that far. Yeah? And now come back the other way. So by the book, the movement of the working head should be firm and steady, but not quick. Okay. Well, look what you got. 302. 
You there yet, Brian? Come on, what? What did I say the working head should be? Firm and steady. Firm and steady, but not quick. Should still be quicker than this, shouldn't it? Come on. You there yet? Right, head back. And you are on 262. Any luck with that, Riley? No, sorry, yeah. We'll change your instrument in a minute then. So, go back down to minimum, Fisher and Brown. Back down to the minimum range and start again from that way. So this is what we mean by taking several coincidence, coincidences from both left and right, okay? So I want you to do five more like that. Do you know exactly what you're doing? Yes, I do. Yeah, and you're gonna write, you're then gonna open your own range scale and take your range and write it down. I want to do five more. So I want to see, how many have you done so far? We've done two. Two, I want to see seven in total. Right, everybody got a good number of ranges there. How many did I ask you to get? Seven. seven. Everybody got seven? Yes, sir. Nobody done any more, just the kicks? Me. Oh, well done, Brown. More the better. So what are we going to do with them now? An average. We're going to do the averages. Just bear with me one moment now. I just want to, um, you know, ask you a couple of questions about reading the scale. Now, we're doing quite a low range here, aren't we? What's up? What? What do you think? You know, quick, off the top of your head, how far away is that? Oh, about 276, Okay. I think it's 300. 300. It is about 300 yards, possibly 290. Um, that instrument then seems to need to be adjusted for you, Brown. That's fine. We'll get on to that. Uh, you know, that one seems to be very minimum adjustments, adjustment for you then, Fisher, which is good news. Uh, so... But what we can do between 250 and 1,000 yards, we, we talked about this when we were naming the parts, but we can adjust up to about 10 yard increments, can't we? We can tell the difference really quite. I mean, you're down to single figures there, Brian, which is remarkable, um, but you can do it at these ranges. Between 1,000 and 1,500 yards, it's 25 yard increments. Between, two and, well, between 1,500 and 2,000, it's 50 yard increments. Between 2,000 and 5,000, it's 100 yard increments. And because we're machine gunners, 5,000 yards is really where we start to not worry about anything more. Now, what else could we use to do the, so rather than just this white post, what else could we use? So fence, we've got, the, we've got the, uh, some fence in the middle of the field there, haven't we? Use the left or the right hand of that uh, and start to adjust on that. And just do a couple of practices there. Start a new column as well, so new object, weather conditions the same, date the same, still zero for your uh, 
adjustment, coincidence adjustment set in, but just do a, a few on that new object just to get your eye in. Now, remember our focusing lesson? You're going to look at it, rest your eyes on it, and then come back to the instrument. Now what you should be doing as well as we start these new ranges is marking whether you took the, the coincidence from the left or the right so that you can start to know your accuracy and whether that adjustment setting needs to be on the left or the right. As you get quicker, and we won't necessarily focus on it in this lesson, but as you get quicker and the adjustments are all correct, um, you'll start to do left and right together and you'll just remember the two readings in your head. So you, uh, you'll make your coincidences in pairs every time. It'll just speed up your range taking so much quicker. Is everybody happy with that? Yes, I do. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave you to do that and make, a, make 10 readings off this new, uh, off, the, off that fence there. And I want you to carry on, make 10 readings, and then we'll move on to the next lesson. Okay? Yes, I do. Brown, very good at uh, lifting up the window scale uh, cover there. Every reading, excellent stuff. Nice. Can you see the difference it makes in the, uh, in the focusing? Yeah. It's crisper and clearer when that cover is closed, isn't it? Yeah. Good. So is that all 10 done? Yes, sir, Excellent, yes, well done.
Right, we'll work out the mathematics of it all uh, when we're back in the classroom uh, and then we can work out our coincidence just in scales. What range do you think that bit of fence is then? 280 for me. 280? Yeah, I've got around the two, just below 250, uh, 260. 260, okay. Which based on the adjustment you had to have uh, last time, Brown's probably about right. Yeah. Riley? 270. 270, yeah, I like 270. So, bearing in mind that the white post we know is 300, um, that feels right, doesn't it? We, we don't use feelings to take ranges, but we know when it feels right, okay? Excellent. So, what we're going to move on to is adjustment of halving. Uh, we're going to forget the white post. Um, we might use the top of the white post, uh, but we'll, we'll move on to that lesson now. But there's, firstly, there's some stuff to do in the classroom though, so we'll go back there and uh, do some, some of the theory. Okay, all happy? Get ready to pack your kit away then, and uh, we're ready to go. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Please support us on Patreon if you're able to, and let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future. I look forward to hearing from you.